Step one is to measure out your one inch border. So what I'm doing is lining up the zero with the left side of my paper. So it should look like this. See how the zero is lined up? And then I'm just gonna make my mark at one. at the top, one inch at the bottom, and I'm going to draw a straight line through both of those points. You should be doing this lightly. I'm going to do it dark because I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing, but all of this you should be doing as lightly as you possibly can. I'm gonna go to the other side and do the exact same thing. Measuring my one inch. I'm gonna connect both of those points. Again, do not do this as dark as I am. I'm just doing it so that you can see what I have. So after that, it should look like this. And we're gonna spin our paper so that we're looking at it vertically. Then I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the other sides. Measure my one inch. Make sure you're lining up the zero. If you're not lining up the zero with the edge of your paper, then your measurements are going to be off, so make sure you're doing that. Same thing on the other side. Measure one inch at the top and bottom again, and then connect. your one inch borders measured out. Now you need to go and erase these lines that you don't need. just like this. Then what we're going to do is measure a two inch grid on the inside of our frame that we just made. So I'm going to line the zero up with the left side of my border. Just like this and I'm going to measure every two inches. So two, four, six, eight, and then 10's already there for you. So just make your marks at two, four, six, and eight. 10 is the other side of your border. 
Then you're going to go down and do the same thing at the bottom. Two, four, six, eight. Then we're going to connect these. Again, you need to be doing this very lightly. This is our grid. We're only using it for reference. We want to be able to erase it so that we do not see it in our final um, drawing. Just connect our points. should have columns that look like this. They are two inches wide. Then we're going to turn our paper so we're looking at it horizontally again. And we're going to do the same thing. Line up the zero with the left border. Not the paper. The border. Like this. From there, we'll measure every two inches again. Then we're going to go to the bottom and do the same exact thing. connect them. This is what we should have at the end. All of those squares are two inches by two inches. Now we're going to create a value scale. So what we're going to do is we're going to be in this um, right hand column here the one on the right. What you're going to do is line up your zero with the second to last line. So this line, just like this. And you're going to measure one inch from that line.
I'm gonna do the same thing at the bottom. And then we're gonna connect those two lines but stay within the border. Should look like that. We basically just took one of the the last row on the right and we cut it in half. Or you could think about it as the bottom row. This is what it should look like. After you do that, you're going to erase this part right here. This is another reason that drawing lightly comes in handy. So then it should look like this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into our value scale. So I am going to line my ruler up with the top of this line. And I'm going to measure one inch. We have a line for two, three inches, four, five inches and we have a line for six. Then what I want you to do is draw a line where we made the mark for each inch. Should end up with one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, I need one more, so we need seven boxes. So I have to measure out one more here. And then you can erase what's left because we don't need it. Clean up your lines a little bit if you went outside of the border. Just kidding, I didn't need this last one. Okay, so you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes. And hopefully you remember when we did the value scale before, this is gonna be your value scale. We're putting it on our piece of paper so that you have it there to constantly reference. So once you have your paper looking like this, actually we're gonna orient it like this, but either way. Once you have your paper finished, your grid and your value scale planned out, then you need to start filling in your value scale. Um, you wanna make sure that it's as accurate as possible. So if you need to upload something to Schoology so that I can see it and let you know if your value scale is looking okay, you can always do that. Um, but again, you wanna make sure it's as accurate as possible because we are going to be referencing it while we're doing our entire drawing. Thank you.